Well, it being 7.01 and we have and a quorum being present, uh, we're going to call the meeting of the Hadley Community Preservation Act Committee uh, in progress. Um, today's meeting is going to cut, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> uh, swallowed wrong, uh, is going to um, cover the letter of agreement between CPA and Hadley Housing and Economic Committee in regards to the special town meeting warrant article. Now, hi Alan. Now, I have a draft of the article. And it is, so, what? I, I had a question. Yep. Uh, maybe I was confused, but we were looking, I thought at the last meeting, we were looking at putting together an agreement that would be between the Hadley, sorry Molly, I can't remember your committee name, between them and then who the, um, people who would administer the program, not between us and um, Molly's committee. It's the um, Housing and Economic Development Committee. Thank you. <laughs> not between CPA and Housing Ec and Economic Development Committee. That was my understanding. That's why Molly had sent me the agreement that Sunderland had. Mm -hmm. and we were going, my understanding was we were going to incorporate the conditions that we agreed upon at the meeting. We didn't agree on too much. Did no, we, we had we? some very specifics. We had some very specific things that we had agreed upon that we had to. Andy had put them, posted them in our chat and I didn't get a chance to copy them. Um, so that's where I was waiting to see because I thought it was we would have some type of an agreement written up, a draft agreement prior to the town meeting. We do have a letter of agreement. That's this. Yes. Oh, that's yep. just something I made up and I, that's because I probably didn't understand and I, I just wanted to have something I talked, Dylan and I touched base one time. Um, he has some answers that he had gotten from um, the um, community action and I figured we can be up for discussion, but I wanted to have something out there. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep, because well, I've got the doctored up agreement that Molly had given me. Mm -hmm. um, and then the only thing I needed would have been from Mark would be what we had talked about at the meeting to incorporate those things. So I was just waiting to hopefully to get those to put in the agreement. Mm -hmm. Because one thing with the, um, the, the thing you put together, Amy, um, it includes things that we did not vote on as conditions as part of the um, approval. So I don't believe we can add things that weren't originally in the vote. Well, we can incorporate. Like, like the town, like if you're back taxes. Right. Well, I thought that's what, you know, I thought that would be up for discussion because it, um, before that. We already, we already voted with conditions. Well, my understanding was that we voted to allow this to be an article, but we would have another meeting to go over the particulars and then mm -hmm. make sure that they were satisfactory. That's what I understood also. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was not my understanding. Because they weren't, we, they didn't know the details yet. So um, we right. didn't want to hold it up, but we couldn't feel we could vote on it yet because there weren't right. enough details. Right. Okay. That, yeah. that, that I remember. 
the poet you don't feel like we like this meeting allows us to edit it you think we have um, to either accept I it or or decline it well no i think um we had some very specific things that we had discussed and i believe were put into the decision yeah i, that and would I have think been transferred into the agreement yeah, I That's, think I had listed four items that we discussed in my minutes. Did everyone get the draft of those? I, yes. When did you send those? Because I didn't see them. Right away, like the next day. <laughs> oh, That's where I, when oh I yeah, it was like after midnight. When I created okay. it, I just went to Mark's minutes and I kind of copied it, what he had in there on a lot of them. <laughs> Except okay. for the last part that was that was brought up at a select board meeting and it was brought up by um you know uh, sue uh the collector and also linda so there was a lot of discussion at a select board meeting regarding that right so i don't remember us talking about that someone could not apply more than once um, oh, I think that was on the the minute so that was my okay i don't remember us saying that we had to verify that the property was in good standing. We did not do that part. That was and a select board. The, the last three things on there, those are things that were not part of our vote. So when we, I mean, I, I'm just looking at it from a standpoint of we voted and now we are adding a more restrictive things on to the vote that we had taken. So it's kind of like the planning board granting an, a permit and saying, well, we're gonna look at the, we're gonna look at this agreement and then making it more strict than what the actual vote was in the, during the public hearing. Because our public hearing is closed. So legally, my understanding is, you cannot take new things and add them into a decision after the fact. David, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding is that is the law when we set conditions or we set terms that you can't do that. Again, my understanding was we voted to let them come before us with the particulars and we'll make sure, because they weren't able to do that then. Um, well, we set very specific things that we wanted in the agreement, and then we voted. We need a um, meeting to discuss mm -hmm. the specifics. That not that why we're here now? Yeah, that's, that, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Because uh, and, and I got... I, uh, we I made, think uh, that there is a legal issue mm -hmm. here because there was an agreement and we had specifics that we said needed to go into the agreement and that we would come back and look at the agreement and include that information in the agreement. So by adding additional things that were not discussed during an open public hearing, that is something that I don't feel comfortable, comfortable with. Isn't um, this meeting posted also in public? Yeah, was that listed as a public hearing or just a public meeting? We made an official vote to recommend with conditions. We voted to I, approve it. With I, the condition we, again? That we would look at the final agreement with the agreement incorporating those things that we had stated. I, think, I guess I'm confused. I know I'm new, but I'm confused of why we're here if we if there was a final vote and then nothing can be discussed. Why would we have another meeting? The discussion part would be the nuances of the language, but not adding anything that was not discussed in the public meeting during the public meeting or public hearing. I can I ask a two questions one um molly and dylan do you have um issues with the added items and 
to uh, I guess this isn't a question it's I guess it's my observation I didn't realize that that was an all-inclusive vote on that I thought that was our first look at it and we said okay let's revisit this next time so I didn't get that I'm sorry I mean when we vote you're voting with, we voted with conditions so it's like mark going back with the planning board saying oh our next meeting we want to change this because somebody else added something it was not done within that public hearing i i just i in my opinion i disagree i i believe that it was the concept in which we were doing at the time these were some of the things we came up with. Um, we didn't know if it was going to be 12%. That was what we were throwing out there. It could be different. Um, that's why we asked them to go back and look at a few other things and to see and, and go back to see with what they would come up with with community action. I thought it was still negotiable. Um, and as far as the, the other thing goes, as far as the part with the town, when the select board brought that up, it was a good thing that they mentioned it, we didn't think of it. Would we want this not to go through because it gets shot down and the select board uh, recommends to disagree? That that would be a condition that they would have before they would recommend it. Why, I, I don't see why we wouldn't wanna be on the same page going to town meeting on something well, like that. And, and I don't have an issue with that but these are the things that should have been brought up during, because we are out of the public hearing on this oh, project. We are posted though. No, 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 no. There's a difference between a public meeting and a public hearing. We had public hearings on the applications. Once you close a public hearing, you cannot take new information and add that into the public record. And Andy, maybe you're the one that brought up the letter of agreement. You said a lot of towns do this and it, we haven't done it before. But my understanding with the letter of agreement was it's because it wasn't able to be finalized for a vote. So we're just basically saying, okay, we, we have this agreement that we'll come back and revisit it um, to finalize. Is that, Andy, is that kind of, am I remembering that correctly? Or um, that, That's how I remember it. Um, we, uh, you actually expected the letter of agreement to be negotiated mm -hmm. after the town meeting, um, but you could negotiate it before. As I understand the purpose of a letter of agreement, so long as it doesn't blatantly contradict anything in the bylaw, um, the agreement letter can uh, have any stipulations that you want. Um, and in this current letter of agreement, the bylaw has not been enacted. So even that could be changed by the committee before, uh, before, before the town meeting. I'm not sure what you're referring to. I don't mm -hmm. know what you're referring to as far as a bylaw being enacted. Do you mean the town, warrant? Town, town meeting has not voted on the, on the, on the, uh, the warrant. The, the warrant. Um, on this right. particular article. Right. But that's... Okay, uh, David? David? Just, uh, just some information. I, a couple of things. Uh, Andy is right that the town meeting has to authorize um, a body of, uh, of town government to negotiate an agreement. So uh, negotiations are still in the future. Mm -hmm. um, and I went back and I looked at your postings for September and they're not posted as a public hearing. They're posted as notice of a meeting. That's what so I was just checking. I, I, yeah. don't, I don't see the same as tonight. All right. Mm. We were going to continue it till tonight because uh, didn't, Molly didn't have all the answers to our questions. Molly and Dylan, wherever you are, uh, didn't have all the answers to our questions that we had because this was a it, it appeared to be a spur of the moment thing that he just thought of and he just wanted to get it on the town meeting more. Am I correct in assuming that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was definitely, we wanted the placeholder there. Um, so would it be helpful if Dylan and I catch you up to speed on where we are? 
Sure, that'll be a big help, yes. Okay. Um, so as you know, we were working or are working with community action. Right. Um, first, we had to find out if we, um, if you know, we worked with David Nixon, the procurement officer, to find out if we needed to go out in a formal RFP process, um, determined that we felt that we were um, on the right side of that because there had been research and we had been turned down immediately by a couple of agencies or either turned down or they didn't respond. Um, so we did put some level of effort into finding out who the possible agencies were that could help us with this. Um, community action uh, was clearly the most promising. The wrinkle in the ointment is that community action um, as of the moment has not definitively said that they will do it. They pushed back on the $12,000, the 12% figure. Mm -hmm. um, and then kind of just a little quick background there. What happened was, um, I don't think anybody here is going to be shocked, but Amherst um, was ahead of us on this one. They had a more substantial funds available and they wound up contracting with Community Action. But Amherst's evaluation process that they put onto the back of community action was rather complicated and convoluted. Um, so there was a lot more subjectivity in the work that community action needs to do to not only vet people to see if they're qualified, but they then also have a component of the way that they're handing out the COVID-19 relief funds to tenants or to renters. Um, by having you know, further qualifications. So Community Action you know, is taking an application from Edwin Matusko and mm -hmm. Mary Thayer and having to decide who's more worthy. So you can imagine there's a lot more to that process than what we were asking for. Um, so Dylan and I tried to make it as clear as possible that this was, Hadley's all about keeping it simple. You know, first come, first serve, you qualify, um, they also wanted, apparently they're cutting all of the checks and it's not going through Amherst Town Hall. Linda Sanderson said no. I mean, she also assumed that we would just be putting this through normal um, accounts payable effectively when, you know, community action, just like the veterans benefits would give us a list. And then the, the uh, treasurer's office would go ahead and just cut the checks monthly. So um, I think that that was helpful. But in the meantime, East Hampton came out and also was looking for community action to handle their program. And community action has pushed back and said, if we're the successful bidder on that, we're not sure that we can do Hadley. We appreciate how simple you are keeping it. So right now, we don't have a definitive answer from community action saying that they can definitely do it. Okay, so we don't, so then I think Paulette is kind of right in that respect that we voted to present to town meeting a agreement between the CPA and the community action, uh, Pioneer Valley community action, but they don't know if they're going to be able to do it. So then we cannot go forward saying, oh, well, this is an agreement between the community action of Pioneer Valley and the uh, Hadley uh, Economic Development Committee because we don't know if that's going to happen. Well, what I was wondering, um, I guess, I don't know if this is a question for, for David Nixon or, or if you all on CPA know the answer. Um, one of the first things I saw when I saw this draft agreement that Amy had put together mm -hmm. was to see if we could change the language on it to say community action or a comparable um, agency so that we weren't locked into community action. Um, and that would, again, all we're looking for town meeting to do is to say, yes, we're happy to have you move this $100,000 into a basically a restricted bucket. Um, recognizing that the actual um, details need to continue to be worked out. And, and I know town meeting has done that in the past where they've authorized the select board to move forward with a contract negotiation, but I don't know if those circumstances were different. And I was wondering if maybe David could respond to that. 
David, what, do, what, what have you got to say to uh, Molly's comments? So uh, the article for this uh, $100,000 includes not only the appropriation, but also the uh, authorization to enter into a negotiation. You don't have to have a, a final document right. by town meeting time. Um, you can have the concepts or the broad contours of an agreement um, and uh, finalize it after town meeting vote. You're going to have to finalize it after town meeting vote anyways, because you don't have the authority as to this moment to negotiate a contract for money that hasn't been appropriated yet. Right. Uh, right. And I thought that, Molly, correct me if I'm wrong, your application is between the CPC or the, for CPA funds and your committee, mm -hmm. not someone specific. It's so, exactly. So with that, it could move forward mm -hmm. because as David just said, you have an agreement to allocate funds and we had a discussion about possible people who could do this, who could administer it, but we didn't have a definite person. Mm -hmm. But the funds go to, it's just like um, funds going to the rec department and then they have to go out to bid to spend to get certain parts of the money and spend it mm -hmm. so the money goes to the housing committee who then negotiates a contract with an entity to spend the funds Exactly. And then I, I would even imagine that, you know, maybe there's a provision and we've done this before, like you're saying with, um, you know, park and rec funds like the woodchuck fund, um, where, you know, we're a committee appointed by the select board. Um, so we could go ahead and do the negotiation, but then bring the final contract details back to the select board for approval. Um, not the CPA committee. Um, you know, and to Amy's point, some of these things came up at a select board meeting because there was other, there's other input, but that, that was the way that I had thought it was going to work out. And I think um, the other thing, you know, Dylan uh, has had more conversation about the specific amounts, but community actions definitely, I think under any circumstances, balking at the hard and fast 12%. So I know at our first discussion, we had said we didn't want to kill it if we couldn't hit the 12%, if it wound up being 14 or 15, that that would still be okay. And I was hoping we could talk about that tonight to give us some flexibility. Right. My, Dylan, I don't, what were I, they I don't looking for? understand what you're trying to do here. It kind of seems like you want us to give you a blank check and we don't, know who it's going to or how it's how the money is going to be spent that but i don't edwin, really feel comfortable like, edwin this is like giving the money to the school committee we don't ask the school committee who they're hiring who's getting the money we don't go through that with them no but we this say, is but that's an approved use this is not this is kind of like a special situation isn't it because this is not in, in the purview of the CPA Act, because no one thought um, that there was going to be a pandemic. And I can understand that, and I know that. But now, I just, I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that, to be brutally honest. And providing that there are other available funds, or there are other state funds available to help people with rent if they start getting behind. You, if you drive down 91, you can see the electronic billboards stating that if you have any problem, go, go see mass.gov. I can, um, I am working at Community Legal Aid in Springfield right now, mm -hmm. and there is not nearly enough resources for the amount of people that's a larger community obviously and it's not mm -hmm. specific to hadley so we do the western mass division and the berkshires and 
even just the time in applying for any kind of assistance right now to hear back is basically between triple and five times what it's supposed to be because of the need. So I know there's billboards and there, obviously we are in a pandemic and this is a special circumstance all around, but just for an idea of there's a, maybe a false thinking that there's so much help available that anyone who wants it can get it. And that's um, not true. There's not right. enough to go around and there's not enough people to even manage the applications, which I think is part of what Molly's running into, even for the government systems that are set up to help people who need rental assistance without the pandemic, they already have an infrastructure for doing so, and they can't even keep up with the increase in need. Right, but my concern is that are, are people going to just say, well, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to go to the town of Havoc. No, but that's in the, that's in the agreement. I think, if I'm understanding right, if we were to say, if we were to vote on that letter of agreement tonight and it went forward like Colette was saying and the money was transferred to Molly, the, the conditions in that letter, which include that you would have to live in Hadley prior to this and that it has to be shown to be a COVID reason that you're behind, AKA mm -hmm. you can't just be a year and a half behind and getting evicted and say, you want some rent help. And then they would be bound to follow within those parameters. Am I right about that, mm -hmm. Molly? Okay. Yeah. And you had risk, you had limits on how much any one person would be given, right? Based on what size apartment? Yeah, we had a proposal that um, we effectively borrowed from Sunderland. So I don't have it in front of me, but I want to say it was like $500 for a one bedroom and then it went up to three bedrooms or more. Um, Edwin had a comment, I think I heard, and I was hoping Andy could speak to it. I, it sounded like, Edwin, you were concerned that this was not an orthodox um, uh, activity for the CPA fund, but I thought that Andy said something last month about this was not so off the script. Can, could you speak to that, Andy? Sure. Um, this would not have been an approved use for CPA money pre-COVID, um, but the Department of Revenue has made an exception because of the uh, exceptional experiences. Uh, but they haven't given much guidance as to what limitations can be placed or how the money can be used, that sort of thing. That's up to the individual towns. Thank you. But it's still, we, we can still, it's it, a uh, uh, approved use of CPA funds? Yeah, yes it is. Under what, under what heading? Housing. Housing. housing under housing affordable housing yeah and, and you said it was approved by what organization department of revenue hmm. and all these towns are using their cpa money for this use so that backs up that it's approved well with cpa that doesn't really mean anything a no. lot of towns use okay. their cpa money for things that are not approved okay but, but if department but of this revenue, happens to be yes so it's kind of the checks and balances has stated that you can use the funds for that, then it's you can use the funds for that. And there's actually there's the state. audit. Huh? I was just gonna say there's a state dashboard um, out there, and at, at least I know, I think when Dylan and I looked at it a couple of weeks ago, there were 80 of the 351 municipalities that already had something in place. Many more are following suit that are kind of in the pipeline for their um, town meetings or city council meetings, uh, the same as us. And the majority of the funding in all of those cases was coming from CPA money. I thought there was only 50% uh, of the towns in Massachusetts approved CPA. And uh, how can there be 200 towns that want to spend CPA money if they aren't approved in the CPA Act. At, at the time, Ed, when there were, um, I don't remember the exact number, there were like 80 or 82 
towns somewhere in there that already had a program in place and more than half of those it was our it was coming from cpa got it okay i understand that one mm -hmm. i'm looking at your letter proposal and you've got 500 for a one bedroom 750 for a two bedroom and 1000 for a three or more bedroom unit right thanks sandra i just want to say that this need is now it's hard because if we don't if you know to push it off until may till something more is known mm -hmm. it seems like there's a lot of months between now and may mm -hmm. so it, it it'd be nice if um we can come up with some parameters that we're comfortable with i don't i mean the cpa doesn't seem like it should be involved after town meeting vote i think having a select board approve if there's more things to be approved makes a lot of sense um, and having a professional organization for confidentiality reasons, for just being able to understand the parameters makes a lot of sense as well. I'm sorry that the community action isn't sure they can take us on. I hope there is somebody else out there um, comparable. You know, I think if, if they insist on 15%, not 12%, I'd hate to see it not go through. Um, if, you know, if, if the, if they were balking at 12 percent other people may as well so um i guess what what are you proposing at this point i guess is what i'd like to hear um from molly and from dylan molly dylan do you have any comments or uh yeah i mean i think what we were what we were proposing again is to because of the pushback from community action to um you know, leave, leave that portion of it vague, um, you know, and just say in a third party agency or whatever language we want to put into it. And then ask town meeting to say that the um, finalization of the criteria and uh, administrative agreement would be subject to approval by the select board. So again, like Paulette explained, all we're doing is we're asking town meeting from an expediency standpoint to vote to take that money, you know, and set that bucket aside, if you will, um, for a clearly intended purpose, you know, however we want to phrase the, um, you know, talk about it on the town meeting floor, but that, you know, it's not just the Housing and Economic Development Committee going off and doing whatever they feel like with the hundred thousand dollars that there would be very clearly these you know subject to agreed upon criteria for eligibility requirements mm -hmm. so do we need this letter of agreement still i i think we you know, do we, some guidance the, the letter the vote said that prior to uh that no funds will be dispersed prior to signing by both parties of the letter of agreement, addressing eligibility, administration, process and oversight. Right, but you don't need a letter of agreement to be finalized tonight. Right. right. It could be that, done that, after the town meeting vote. But the, right, the two, the two issues, was, I'm sorry. The, the two issues ahead. that I've heard brought up tonight are the, uh, the percentage of the cost for running the program uh, and who's going to negotiate the letter of agreement. Is it going to be between the CPA committee and the HEDC or is it going to be the select board and the HEDC or is it going to be whoever the vendor is who's chosen to run the program? So I think that is a decision your committee should make tonight. It shouldn't be between the CPA. Because yeah, the, we, we just we just can't even get together with too many people that uh, can't even agree on what's supposed to be right. in the letter of agreement. And the so we should give authority to someone else. Can we ask David his opinion on that? Yeah, uh, logically, it makes sense that the chief executive officer, the select board, mm -hmm. negotiates and, and finalizes the. Uh, agreement after authorization by town meeting so right. what what's being asked now is to follow the 
follow the letter of agreement, the draft that uh, Amy uh, drew up or no, or I'm confused as to what are we being asked to do, uh, do now? Right, our minutes, hang on. What we looked at in, in looking at Mark's minutes, all right, because I did find mm -hmm. them. Um, we had talked about the administration costs and we didn't have a finalized number. Sunderland spent uh, 6,000 to administer 50,000, which was 12%. Yeah. Um, and we suggested imposing a cap on administrative costs, but we didn't have that. Um, and then we said that renters must already be Hadley residents. Mm -hmm. They must show that COVID-19 is the reason for their inability to rent. They have to meet certain mm -hmm. guidelines proving need um, and additional restrictions, including applying more than once. Okay. Yep. The grant is for two years. Payments would be to the landlords and that we said that it would be a, from the housing set aside for Hadley Economic Development to administer the program or housing and economic development to administer the program and no dis funds will be dispersed prior to signing by both parties of the letter of agreement. And typically this is a mistake on our part. We do not sign letters of agreement. The Board of Selectmen signs the letter of agreements with the applicants um, addressing. And so we said what had to be addressed is eligibility, administration, process, and oversight. That is what we framed it and voted on. Okay. So <clears throat> and is so that all in the, mean, in the proposed bylaw? Excuse me, Andy. Is, is that in the warrant article, all, all that language? Um, no. No. Yeah, I wonder if we can pull back or, you know, do we have to feel locked in by last meeting's minutes? Because that was our first time coming at this type of an issue. And maybe we got too specific. And maybe tonight's an opportunity to pull back. And as I think I heard several, maybe David and Molly say that we leave um, some negotiating to after the, we're voting on the intent of the scope of right. this, but I don't know how many restrictions we need to put on at this point in that. Or maybe we can agree on like the very outer parameters of, for example, the cap, things that do need to be included from our part and then let the select board negotiate the more specific terms. Yeah, it seems like a hot button would be, you know, having that overhead be too high that we'd get blowback from the taxpayers. Well, David, what does the warrant article say for this? The article or the motion? The motion. The article, the warrant, right? The motion? warrant article. Yeah, yeah but there, so the there's, warrant, there's, warrant article. there's article A is reserved for CPA emergency rental assistance, and then there's a motion. So what do you, uh, to see if the town, the, the article reads, will vote to appropriate and transfer $100,000 from the Community Preservation Act General Fund to be granted to the Hadley Housing and Economic Development Committee. Should be the, the housing fund. Yep. For the purpose of supporting community housing through an emergency rental assistance COVID-19 program and to authorize the select board to enter into a grant agreement setting forth the terms of said grant with the added conditions that, number one, no funds will be dispersed prior to the signing by both parties of a letter of agreement between the 
us and the Hadley Economic Development Committee uh, addressing eligibility, administration, and oversight. And two, if the funds are not expended under the Emergency Rental Assistance Program by, oh, that's the time limit, uh, by Special Town Meeting 2020, any unused balances shall be returned to the Community Preservation General Fund. Does that, it say 2020 or 2022? 2022, excuse me. Yes, I agree. Uh, yes. Sorry. So that kind of takes it out of our hands, the wording of that motion. Yeah, right. it, it, it says we it's, will negotiate after we award. But I think right. the contract is between the Board of Selectmen. Right, and? So the Board of Selectmen negotiates the contract with the Hadley Housing and Economic Committee. Right, but this says we have a, um, or we, does the select board contracts. Right. Well, the, does the it, does no, the select board not. negotiate a contract with a vendor? No, uh, no, they negotiate the terms. With the money goes to the Hadley Housing and Economic Development. You're right. They negotiate with the selectmen the terms of the use with those caveats. Mm -hmm. right. David, is, is it too late to change that wording to take us out and put the select board in? So, um, so no, we, we have until uh, Wednesday night. Two, two day, two nights, two days. Is that is that correct? Yes. This Wednesday. I, I need I need to have the select board sign the warrant on Wednesday. So, typically the. The CPA or CPC does not negotiate contracts. We put conditions right. on grants that go to town meeting, but we don't get involved in the actual contract. Right. The select board, I believe, has always signed the contracts because it's expending funds of the town. Right which is the way many small towns do it, but many larger towns, the CPA committee is responsible right. for the letters of agreements between themselves and whoever receives the money for whatever purpose it's being put towards. Right, and that's usually when they have a full-time staff person. Exactly. So, right. if, if, so if the committee decides that you want the select board to do the negotiating with the HEDC, before the vendor is chosen, then someone should make a motion to change the wording of the warrant article to say that. David, can I just ask you, do you think the select board would be fine with this? I mean, we're, we're saying we want another committee to, you know, without asking them first. So can we ask you on their behalf? Uh, I'm sure the select board would be happy to uh, assist the Community Preservation Act committee in this way. We're not asking them to assist, let, we're asking them to <laughs> take to, over. I'll let the, uh, the restrictions that you enumerated are entirely reasonable, and I'm sure that the select board would, would be, ha be happy to uh, keep them in mind when negotiating. Yeah, and, and the reality is, again, you know, our committee's appointed, so we, you know, we have no authority. Right. But, we're acting on behalf of the select board. So I think the whole intent of having a group like ours was so that the legwork could be done elsewhere. And then we would bring something to the select board for their review and approval so that they would be the signing authority, but they don't need to come to the table and be doing all the back and forth with community action or whomever. That's what our, our group would do. Right. So, well, I'm, I'm gonna, again, the vote last time was actually six, zero with one abstained because I do have a rental property in Hadley so I was so I won't make the motion for the select board somebody else can do that I have a question I, one more question for Molly in the yeah. here then instead of saying because we just said we were going to come out and put the select board in but should Hadley Housing Economic Development Committee be in there or should it be a letter of agreement between the um, select board and whatever 
agency? Um, that's what I would think, Amy. Okay. Right. So how should we word the other agency? Because we would have to so take us out, put select board in, and then take the Hadley Housing out and put other agency in. That's mm -hmm. an, an agency administering for the HEDC. Is that what we want to say? Yes. Or yes. David Nixon might have a turf, you know, a, a, he's good at wording these. It would be the, the an organization chosen to administer the grant given to HEDC. Well, uh, wait a minute, run that by me again. It would be an organization chosen to administer the funds given to HEDC. Because we're giving the money to HEDC. Yes. So the, the contract would be for someone to administer the funds on behalf of HEDC. Right. Right. Yeah. So that's what it really should say. According to the guidelines approved by the select board. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. So is, are we, is there someone proposing a motion to that effect or what? I'm kind of a little I'll, bit lost. I'll propose that we revise the wording for the town warrant to remove CPC and put in, I guess, um, HEDC to admin it to negotiate. What did I say? Uh, come up with. I don't have, can you say the wording again? Because I don't have it in front of me. Well, yeah, to take out uh, the way we were going to re, it's CPA, and then so in place yep. of the CPA committee, we we're putting select board. Right. And then where it says the, the select board isn't administering the negotiating the contract, select board has final approval for disbursement of the funds. You're talking the about the letter of agreement. What, yeah, that's what I think. Are you, are you talking about the letter of agreement? Because it would, the agreement is entered into by and between the select board of Town of Hadley. Um, right. And but negotiations would be between HEDC and the organization with approval of the select board. Does anyone have a copy of the warrant that they could share? on the screen so that we could all see the wording that we're talking about, because it's kind of confusing. Or in the chat, paste it into the chat, yeah. one or the other. Uh, I don't know how to do that. David Nixon, he might be, he's the best at the tech part. <laughs> yeah, David, would you mind sharing your screen if you can get that up on yeah, your- he is. Can everybody see this? Look at that. Yes. Yay. $100,000 from CPA general fund. Be granted to the Hadley Housing and Economic. It, I thought it was the housing fund, not the general fund. It, it needs to be changed to the housing fund, yes. Housing fund. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That needs to be housing fund. Oh, right. All right, I'm going to see if I can do this on screen. Yep. Yes, you can. Yep. Yep. Real time. <laughs> so, housing fund to be granted to the Hadley Housing and Economic Development Committee for the purpose of supporting community housing, the emergency rental assistance COVID-19 program, and to authorize the select, the select board, board to enter into a grant agreement, which is fine because they're gonna be entering into the agreement, yep. setting forth the right. term, um, um, Setting forth the terms of said grant. And they have to, the letter of agreement between that's that's where we get taken out, right? Yeah. Into a agreement setting forth the terms of said agreement with the added condition that no funds will be dispersed. A letter between of agreement those, between, between the, the select board and select board 
No, it would be it would be the select board and the and, committee and the, and the fund the administering agency. Right? right. The organization no. administering the funds, yes. On behalf of of the ATPC. Yeah. When Administrative organization on behalf of. I'm sorry, it's around a little bit. We, no, you got it. Between the select board and qualifying, qualifying qualified organization, organization. Qualified organization who and is administering the funds on behalf of. Um, who is administering an administrative organization dispersing the funds? Disper yeah. Dispersing funds on behalf of or as the agent for the Hadley Housing uh, and Economic Development. Yeah. Uh, right. hold, hold on just a minute though, but Molly said that the agency won't be dispersing the funds that the Hadley treasurer will be dispersing the funds. Right? Yeah, I was just going to come back to that. So they okay. actually aren't doing the dispersing. So they're just administrating yeah. the program. They're not dispersing. Right. Administrating the program. Um, so like okay. Maybe say a qualifying organization. Take out the administrating qualifying organization administering the program. Yeah. So administering the program. Why not leave it dispersing? Uh, because, because they're, they're not, not going to disperse. Oh, okay. Administrating the program on behalf of. And eliminating dispersing funds on behalf of the Community Preservation right. Act Committee yeah. and. So on behalf of, and at this point, all the way to the end of the line. Be on, yeah, go right, get keep, rid of. Take out CPA yeah. and right, stop right on behalf after of, yep. perfect. The Hadley Housing and Economic Development Committee. Yep. Addressing eligibility, administration, oversight. Mm -hmm. the funds, okay, so the number two is just the time limit. Number one yep. is the important part. Because it's yeah. okay. No I, funds to first prior well, to signing general general fund. Party. Should it say housing yep. fund? Right? Uh, we yeah, had yeah. housing fund up top, right? It's coming from that's right, up. It would go back to the CPA the second line. housing fund right. also. Well, it goes back to the general fund. No, usually it goes back to the no, fund it comes out of. I think that might be a legal issue. In and the past, I, in the past, we can we can double check with town council when we get to town meeting, and we can make that as an amendment on the motion. It's it's um in the past the articles have specifically said from whatever fund they came. So if it came from historic, it said it went back to the historic. Right. right. Because so, David, we have to allocate certain monies are allocated, yeah. and if it's not spent. It has to go back into that fund. Let so me double check this. Always okay. I hear what you're saying. Let me double check this. If you, I, I feel more comfortable if you put housing and then if you find it's wrong, we'll change it to general because I, I think the housing is, is good. Be reasonable, David. Do it our way. <laughs> <laughs> David's like, why did I come to this meeting? <laughs> We're going to run into some trouble later on when we are taking us uh, money from two pots. Right, no, we don't want to do that. Right, but if so you look back over the last couple of years. Well, yeah. Why don't we just say it to be returned to the CPA fund and worry about the details no. later? No, we I, I think housing is okay because that's consistent yeah. with how it's I'm, been I'm done. Content if not happy. Okay. All right, so I move. Make a motion that okay. we amend our article to read. As, uh, as it currently reads. As it currently reads. Um, as currently that revised. We authorize the 
select board to enter into a grant agreement setting forth the terms of said grant with the added conditions um, Fund to be granted the housing economic, yes, that we, let's see, let me just read this again so I can make a motion. Can I ask a, a, a grammatic, grammatical change? What? Agreement between the select board and the qualifying organization administration program. Yeah, that's okay. And the qualifying, yeah. that, that makes sense. So we actually aren't setting any parameters with this. We're, we're we we are saying that the agreement must address the those two, eligibility, yeah. administration, and oversight. That they're not expended. Um, yeah. Right. Yes. So that we are. We have those three parameters there. So it could be very different from are you know what we've already talked about which i'm not saying is wrong it's just it's well this is what we voted on we voted you know previously we voted on something else to present the town meeting now you just can't change it because you want to but this is how we are going to present it to town meeting right right, right. And my, my point was we had certain things in there already, like who, you have to live in Hadley prior to the COVID-19 starting and all of that. But we're, we're not saying that that's required now at all. We're just saying it, the select board will come up with the parameters well, with the, this organization. Right, well, the select board and the AGDC, yes. Right. Yeah. And the reality so, is the um, had already, well, what we had agreed was that the renters had to be in Hadley. They had to show. So these are the requirements that HEDC would be putting together a draft agreement on. To Which go I, think, before I think this is a good way to do it because I, I think it's important to get the money there if, if there's a way yeah. to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. so, in a town meeting, they're going to ask for an explanation. So it's going to be a matter of record at town meeting floor what the criteria are going to be okay mm -hmm. good so are we discussing your motion paulette well wait a minute uh, i'm going to make a motion to amend um removing the cpc and inserting the select board and a qualifying organization as as amended here i took a screenshot of it so i'm going to just quote it i'm going to say that your motion says to yeah. amend amend the article to article read as eight. follows article eight yes. to amend article yep. eight to read as follows and then i'll just because i yes. took a screenshot so okay yep um i'm i would second that Wait, somebody second it <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, we have a motion. Now we can discuss it. There is a second. I second it, so now we can discuss it? Well, yeah, yeah but we already did, so. <laughs> um, Andy, what do you think? Uh, so you guys are sure you want to hand authority to do this over to the select board? Yes. Well, the, the, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, and Molly, the HEDC would actually be doing the grunt work mm -hmm. and the Board of Selectmen would be signing it. They may tweak it, but they would be signing it. Is that right, Molly? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Where is in response to your question, there? Andy? If we gave Alan a hundred thousand dollars to fix gravestones would we get involved with him and his vendor or we'd just step back and say bring us back what you don't spend on the gravestones right well most most cpa committees do have a letter of agreement with those receiving the funds uh, but we haven't hadley hasn't done it that way I until thought now the select board sends a letter of agreement 
based on the warrant and the application? Uh, it can be done that way. It's really up to each town to set their own, uh, their no, own procedures. No, I'm saying I, my understanding was that's how it's been done. Uh, I think that is how Hadley's done it, yes. Yeah. But it seemed, it seemed at the last meeting, if I can just say how I, how I viewed it, that the CPA committee wanted to have more influence on the agreement. Um, and if you want to change your mind and hand it over to the select board, then that's fine too. Yeah. Just make sure that's what you want. Right. My thought is we are actually handing it over to the Housing and Economic Development Committee. Well, but it's the select board who has to approve it. Right? The, oh. the, the HEDC works it out with the vendor and then the select board approves it and says right. these are the conditions, these are the, mm -hmm. you know, right. so that, that kind of thing. So and that's fine so long as that's what you want. Yeah. yeah, the agreement would have to address eligibility, administration, and oversight. Right. I yeah. mean, that's, that's pretty broad. Well, I mean, can we just go, I mean, first of all, <laughs> I, I understand the concern, all right, between committees and, you know, this is, these are CPA funds or taxpayer dollars. The whole point of this is because we're in the middle of a pandemic. We brought it forward with criteria, we presented it to you. I don't know why anybody would be concerned that we're suddenly going to say, well, it's not just for Hadley residents, now we're gonna open it up for other people and we're gonna you know, loosen up the strings. I mean, if anything, as Amy pointed out, the more people that got involved wanted to make sure that the T's were crossed, I's were dotted and holes were plugged. So if anything, I would imagine that the only input from the select board and people at a select board meeting might be to make it a little bit more stringent. I don't see it going in the, in the other direction. Uh, again, it's not, not the point of the program. Nobody is looking to take taxpayer dollars and just throw it out the window. So, you know, I'm, I'm not really sure what the concern is here. And as, as Edwin pointed out, from an expediency standpoint, if time is of the essence and everybody's on the same page, I suppose if you want, you could say, okay, the select board has to bring it back to the CPA committee, but then we're right back where we started. Right. right. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Because we okay. can even decide on how we want to have an article. So then the, tie things up. Yeah, well, then it's pretty clear, I think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Well, I think since the CPA doesn't meet all that often, and the select board meets more often, an agreement like this would, common sense, it would go through the select board rather than the CPA. Um, we're recommending to, to town meeting that this money be spent. Um, yeah. And we're the ones that have the money, but that doesn't mean that we have to sign off on the agreement. What's it, what, what's? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> go ahead and you guys keep on talking. I'm just uh, cleaning up the, uh, the motion. The motion. Oh, yeah. Okay. I see. No, I'm, I, I have reservations about trusting someone else with the taxpayers money, but if in order for expediency and the, and in the past, mm. what we've done before is that whatever we presented, that's what's supposed to be voted on. And what we're doing now is we're changing the motion. We're changing the article. And, you know, we have to do the uh, uh, same thing for the uh, cemetery, too. Uh the article isn't set though this is just the draft of the article it hasn't been approved yet right this is just a draft and we're going to vote now Edwin, go ahead I, I don't understand what you're saying about the cemetery because we're not doing an agreement with the cemetery right we aren't but the, the, we had three articles with different things for the cemeteries but now we're combining them now don't we have to 
We haven't gone through that. That is other um, things that we didn't know about prior to this meeting. So it's not on the agenda. So that's something that Edwin is going to bring up after this is over. Right, right. The cemetery. There is another thing that we have to discuss, but it hasn't been something on the agenda because it was on after. It just came right. up. Right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, we have okay. a motion in a second. Okay. Are we going to... Are we done tearing this apart and we're beating it to death? Or, yes. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, do we have a vote on the amended article, which will be number eight, David, am I correct? Right now it's number eight. Is it going to stay number eight? Maybe. <laughs> oh. I, I don't think that matters, Edwin, because we're voting on the motion. Right. Yeah, we're just changing the wording of what we're sending over. Right. Right. Um, okay. All those in favor of the motion as presented, uh, signify by raising their hand. Uh, I'm assuming that everybody, uh, I, my, my screen is all covered up with. Oh, yeah. David, can you take us off of uh, screen share? Mary is abstaining. I'm abstaining. Yes. And um, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have six, yeah. right? One. Yeah. Uh, Carol, did, did you vote, Edwin? Sandra. Oh, I don't know. Can I vote? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm in favor. <laughs> so one, two, three. And the end of year five, abstaining. Five, six. I'm no longer on the committee. I think so I count six. Six, six, one, one, six zero one. Yeah, six zero one. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Thank, thank you, you, Molly and Dylan. Thank you. Good luck with all of this. It's very important. Thank you. Hey, okay, good. Um, okay, uh, where is my uh, agenda? Okay. Well, it's not on the agenda, member. No, it's not, but uh, should we because there, uh, it was pointed out that we uh, inadvertently said something in the motion that isn't going to happen. Should we amend it or just leave it as it is? Uh, because uh, it says in the motion that uh, we're going to replace the, there it is. Um, Hockenheim Fence uh, project was approved by CPC for replacement of the stone. It's for preservation and restoration of the historic town wall is incorrect. So we need to correct that uh, first. Actually, uh, Edwin. Yep. You, the main thing you vote, I think the main thing you voted, correct me if I'm wrong, David, is that is to combine the three cemetery um, articles into one. That's the main. Um, That's the main thing. Yeah. Well, let me let me let me paint the picture a little bit. Um, we have a town meeting coming up on November 14th. That's a Saturday. It's going to be at 1 p.m. over at the public safety complex. They're going to hike all the equipment out of the garage and set it up for 65 uh, socially distant people in the garage and the spillover to make the 100 uh, quorum in the parking lot. Um, the idea is try to minimize the exposure of people to potential public health issues as uh, to minimize it as much as possible. Uh, to that end, the select board uh, took out an, at least three articles from the warrant, they uh, combined a number of other articles together mm -hmm. under a consent agenda, and they have, are, are asking the CPA committee if the three separate articles dealing with cemeteries can be combined into one article. Let me show you what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Again, this is for public, public health purposes. So the three articles becomes one. Yeah, I mean, as long as they all, it looks like you're addressing each one 
three applications with one vote. Right. Sixty thousand. As long as the dollar amounts are are correct, I don't have a problem with it. Um, has anybody had a chance to do the math and see if the dollar amounts are correct? Yeah, it's correct. Okay. Thank you, Mary. Okay. So, oh, David, fine. does it say twenty-three thousand fifty-two dollars? Yes, from the from the historic, historic set aside. Yep. So we and transfer six hundred forty-seven yep. from the general fund. Yep. I don't have any issue with that. Right. Because it's got well, all three applications in one. Yeah, under one vote. But it is, it is as Alan pointed out, it's not to preserve and restore the historic zone, zone fence. Alan, what wording were you suggesting putting there instead? Uh, the same language that's in the CPA application, actually. And I don't have it in front of me. David, do you have it? Um, I don't, but if we can, uh, if we can come up with the, the language, I can make the changes here, right here. Let me so, um, pull up the minutes. I have a question. Instead of making, I, I, I saw what Alan had, but it ha it was a little bit, it, there was quite a bit to it. Instead of just using the word uh, restore, preserve and restore, can we use the word just rehabilitation, rehabilitate? Because my under, I went to CPA and went to look and there's only certain words that are able to be used under CPA. And yep. And if yeah, you you're, re you're you're rehabilitating the cemetery by replacing uh -huh. a fence. That's well, we just use one word, and then we yeah. right. But you but then you don't want well. I mean, you, in order to make it somewhat clear, we got to talk about what we're doing at the cemetery, and what we are I, doing is repl is 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 we're going to. Um, it's the fence replacement project. Is yeah, we're going to replace replace one fence with another. Right. Fence replacement project, or yeah, that's that that makes that's good. To, I think that would work. To replace the fence. Uh, let's see. We'll at the Hockenham Cemetery. To so preservation and restoration of gravestones. Um, so the last sentence would be have to be changed. To replace this to, to replace this fence at the Hockenham Cemetery. Well, wait a second. It says okay. You could say, uh, yeah. The committee instead of saying t two, instead of saying two, say four. After it says Hadley Cemetery Committee for replacement of the right. fence. Yes. Or, yeah, I like that one better. You could just say. Uh, uh, don't we want to leave in historic? Yes. The historic, historic stone fence. Uh, no, you don't have to say that because the the historic, it, no, the, the stone fence is historic, but the cemetery is the more yeah. historic thing, right. uh, resource that we're trying to that's rehabilitate. Yep. That's yep. That's, yep. That's, that looks good. So the replacement of the historic, yeah, yeah, replacement of the historic stone fence. Yes. No, no, no. Replace. Did I just say replacement of the fence or the stone fence at the historic Hockenham Cemetery? Replacement of the fence at the historic. Hockenham Cemetery. Right. That the way you got it there is good. But I would say stone yeah. fence. So so people know what we're talking about. So stone yeah. fence. If you back up four words. You yeah, know. back up. Yep. The replacement of the stone fence. Right. Right there. Yep. The stone. <laughs> Don't you like having like 20 bosses, David? <laughs> <laughs> 20, yeah, 20 editors. 20 people. 20 editing. editors, yeah. Yes. Yep, that, <laughs> I think I that that's I think that's day. clear and it's concise. Yep. If that's good, I'm going to take a screenshot for my. Well, point. and again, it shouldn't say general fund, and if the funds aren't used, um, it, is, it, it is general fund. fund. It's, it's coming out of the general fund. That is coming out of the general because we use. Yeah. Right. You're right. Twenty-three thousand fifty-two <laughs> is from the historic set aside, which wipes it out. Right. And then the rest comes from the general fund. That's right. 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 And Alan, you got to mention that you guys are kicking in a bunch of dough. For this thing too. <laughs> Three thousand, five thousand, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. 
Yep. yep, for each of those. Okay, yep. do we have a motion to change that article? And I'll, I'll make a motion to amend, um, well, we're, to consolidate the three applications into one article at the town meeting. Okay. Right. Is there a second? second. And, and amend the language as as follows, and then I'll. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. Second. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, that was a motion by Paulette and a second by? Mary. Okay, thank you. And uh, does anybody else have any other comments or concerns about this article? Uh, hearing none, all those in favor, signify by raising their hand. Uh, I can't. One, two, I think three, we got seven. four, five. Hang on. I can, I can see everybody else. Six, seven. Seven, okay, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yes. To combine the three. Are we calling it motions or contracts? Or? Three applications into the, one motion. The, the article. You're, one article. You're combining the articles. Three articles into one article. Yeah. Right, three application we articles. Are, we are proposing three applications one. into one article. Right. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. That's yeah. what we are doing. Right. Right. Into one article application and amend the language as follows right okay um does anybody else i am kind of a leery to ask this question but does anybody else have anything about to bring up before the special town meeting concerning cpa but the other cpa articles were withdrawn by the applicants yeah no, there should be one more right isn't there the dpw one that, that was withdrawn was oh it was yeah oh, okay uh, and, am i correct david that got withdrawn that's withdrawn we're okay. going to try it again in the spring okay come back hey, Edna, did you ever hear back from the cpa coalition of their uh, determination of the fitness oh. of the articles no, okay. No, no, I didn't. Uh, was I gonna? Uh, well, I wrote to Stewart. He said he was gonna uh, look at them and get back to us, but I guess he never did. Okay. Well, I my I haven't noticed anything on my email. Okay, but it's a moot point. Okay. Thank you for trying, Andy. <laughs> well, I'll write to him again. Okay, good. Thank you very much, Andy. I appreciate just, just, all your help and uh, concern for the committee. Did we end up with a banner? A CPA working for you banner? I know Denise is working on it. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. And uh, the, the yeah. library has one, but I don't know if they'll let us use it. But so for the minutes, the DPW article, that was the only one that was withdrawn? Um, yes, as far as I know. That's the only one left. OK, good. Right. Yep. David Bellamy needs to account for a lot of public information, public participation on the uh, common if he yep. wants to do something. Yeah, that was very clear. Okay. Well, well my, my question is, will he have to resubmit it to the CPA committee or does the yes. approval of the committee apply even though it's withdrawn if he just... No, he, he, he withdrew it. He's got to start again from scratch. Okay. Right. Right. All right. Does he know that? He does he now. Will. He does now. Well, somebody <laughs> should tell him. Well, yeah. I'll tell him because I, I emailed him after the last meeting and told him he had an article, even though okay. you didn't show up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, um, Andy, for my minutes, what did you reach out to Stuart about? Um, we usually send the uh, the CPA. Oh, now my brain shut down. The, the draft proposals before the CPA votes on them, we send to the 
CPA coalition for their opinion as to whether they're approved use or not. Right. Uh, okay. Do all towns do that? Many towns do it. Many? <laughs> yes, not all. Uh-huh. Ones, ones that don't want to get in trouble do. <laughs> ones that don't want to hear no, they don't do it. Right. Right. Or if they have a full-time staff. Right. 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 I have to look into it. That's true. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to apologize to you all for me missing so many meetings. I've been ill, but I hope that I can come back to all of the meetings in the future. Well, well we're just glad meetings. your health is better and that you're feeling yeah. better. But Denise has been, uh, she's been a wonderful substitute, so. Yes, she has. Okay, and Carolyn, we we hope to see you uh, soon. <laughs> and you have a nice cat, David. You David hope that what? Like... David has a nice cat. <laughs> yes, pets and babies work best on Zoom. I still yeah. couldn't hear you. Okay. Um, is, Never mind. <laughs> is there any other business? And I will take, or I will take a motion to adjourn. So I will adjourn. adjourn. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much everyone. I appreciate it and we'll see you at the town meeting.